Hello guys, in this video, we will be discussing about finding the derivative of a function, trigonometric function using quotient rule. Now this time this is a function involving sine, so this is an example of a trigonometric function. Now since this is in a form of a fraction figure, then we are going to make use of the quotient rule. Now quotient rule is actually being defined by this expression y is equal to u over v where our denominator v should not be equal to zero otherwise it will become undefined now our u corresponds to the numerator 3x and our v corresponds to our denominator sine 4x now what is the derivative of u over v this is denoted as y prime or shall I say dy over dx. The derivative is actually given by this formula. Copy the denominator here on this denominator part. Square that. Copy the denominator v on the numerator. Multiply that with the derivative of the numerator which is u prime minus. Copy your numerator u times the derivative of the v which is v prime. So in answering and finding the derivative of 3x over sine 4x, all we have to do is to follow this process. So this is now y prime, or shall I say dy over dx. The derivative is actually by following this equation. So y prime, what is our v, the denominator part, which is sine... 4x times u prime, meaning the derivative of the numerator. What is the derivative of the numerator? That's 3. Minus, copy your numerator, which is 3x. And then multiply that with the derivative of the denominator sine 4x. Now, our denominator is actually v, which is equal to sine 4x. Now again, we are going to look for the derivative of the denominator v, which is v prime. Now the derivative is actually following this formula, the derivative of sine u with respect to x is actually given by the formula cosine u times u prime. Meaning to say, if you have the derivative of sine u with respect to x, all you have to do is to copy cosine, copy the function u, and then multiply with the derivative of the u. Now at this point, our u is just equivalent to 4x. So in the derivative of sine, that is actually cos. So all you have to do is to copy here cosine. But what is for u? The one inside sine, which is 4x, so copy times the derivative of your function u. What is the derivative of 4x? That's 4. In short, the derivative of sine 4x is just cosine 4x times 4. This is now the value that you are going to substitute on the v prime, which is the derivative of the v, and copy that here. So we have cosine 4x times 4. You can enclose that. So this is our v. By copying the denominator, our u prime is the derivative of 3x, which is 3, minus, copy, your u is your numerator, which is 3x. Your denominator v prime is cosine 4x times 4. But what is your denominator v? That is sine 4x. But take note, you have to square. from here. So let me erase this. So, <clears throat> so simplifying, <clears throat> 3 times sine 4x, you are not allowed to multiply 3 and 4x because sine and 4x serve as one function. So all you have to do is to copy first the simple function 3 and then followed by sine 4x minus 
you are going to multiply 3x and 4. So 3x times 4, that will become 12x. And then copy cosine 4x. So the same thing, you are not allowed to multiply 4x and 12x. So 3x times 4, that's 12x, and then copy cosine 4x over the denominator part, which is equal to sine squared 4x. Take note, this quantity of sine 4x raised to the power of 2 can actually be written as sine squared 4x. This one and this one are actually the same. Now, at this point, this is now our answer because we don't have something to cancel on to the denominator part.